Okay, right. We'll see how we go with this one. This one's something I've had to, I, I, I'm doing. It's something I needed recently, because uh, I got a flu, and it's just been tried to clear my nose. It didn't actually clear my nose, but it cleared the paste nasal drop, or the paste nasal post nasal drip, should I say, and a congested throat. And I just had to contend primarily with a blocked nose, which is not pleasant either. But at least this this treat, this stuff actually, I think, reduced the amount of uh, discomfort I felt with my flu, uh, as well as taking away the temperature, you know, giving keeping my temperature feeling good when I was in bed. Uh, I could I still couldn't sleep that night when I had it. It was just too unpleasant. Now we've got those two together. I'm wondering what the fuck we're doing here. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this one. I'm thinking maybe we're just going to leave out the brightness and we're just going to add some contrast and the hue. What are we going to do with the hue? We're going to warm it up a bit. A bit like having a fever. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible feeling. Anyway, uh, what is it? It is a box of Lem Sip. Max, cold and flu hot drink with G decongestant. As I said, the decongestant didn't actually clear the nose, but it actually, I think it prevented the post-nasal drip at the back of my throat, which comes from the nose, and, and also the congestion in my throat. So I didn't have to worry about um, struggling too much with swallowing because I didn't have to swallow as much, whereas when you get stuff at the back of your throat, like phlegm and and a post-nasal drip, what comes out the back of your nose, well, it's bloody awful trying to swallow and you can't swallow. So that's one of the things I hate most about having a flu is, I think, is not just the, the nose, it's the, you know, not just a runny nose, it's the post-nasal drip and the, and the congested throat combined with the, the runny nose. It's not a nice feeling dealing with these physical symptoms that we all have to approach sooner or later I'm very sensitive to the discomfort of this condition of having a flu or a cold and I'm just glad it's over now this didn't turn out too well uh, I'm thinking maybe we can run with this one even though it's not the greatest either uh, I like the colors so I'm wondering if we're gonna just throw this on, on the side. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I feel like giving away the remaining sachets because I don't need them anymore. I'm on my way to recovery. I don't need to... Um, how should I put it? I don't need to bloody put up with a fucking flu anymore. So it's, it's just getting better. It's, I'm on the road to recovery. Uh, it's taken a while. I've had this flu for nearly a week. So it's not the nicest feeling. I'm always trying to dodge it, trying to avoid people who've got it. You can't always avoid people, unfortunately, at work, on public transport, uh, anywhere in public places. You just can't... Oh, I forgot to set the colour balance up high. Maybe we don't need it except for the last. Maybe we can save some toner if I don't punch the colours up full blast like this all the time but basically yeah I just don't I just can't tolerate having a fucking flu and cold I really hate it it's disgusting it's really difficult to deal with but unfortunately everyone gets it sooner or later you know some someday this shit just comes you just have to live with it you just have to ride it out uh, I don't know which way we're going to put this one uh this is a little bit tricky so i'm wondering which part's going to the top corner i'm going to put that to the top corner and we're going to enlarge it 104 percent but basically it's a terrible thing to have the flu some i always get the feeling other people don't seem to have it as bad as me i always feel like i've got it worse like i'm more sensitive and more prone to feeling the discomfort and I sort of feel that most people don't care so therefore they don't cover their coughs properly or they put their hand in their ma over their mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing and then they touch something like 
they touch the bus, you know, they're on the bus and they handle the, they, they hang on to the bars of the bus and they end up spreading the germs and then I pick them up and surprise, surprise, I get the fucking cold or flu and it's disgusting and I try my best to not, I don't sneeze into my hand or I, I tend to sneeze into my shoulder, I try my best, it's, it's very hard to stop the spread and when you blow your nose you've got to clean your hands as much if you can, it's not easy to clean your hands on a bus or a train, uh, but basically I, I try to make every effort not to get the get the nasal shit or, or the cough all over my hand. I just don't want other people to get it. You know, I think to myself, well, I don't want to get it, so therefore I've got to, I have to pay the same attention to the other people around me. That if I, it's like, you know, do, do unto others, you know, if you don't want a cold or a flu, you know, and you think it's unpleasant, surely enough someone else is going to not appreciate you giving it to them. So you feel for them. You show empathy for the person, the other person. Now, if you don't like having a cold or a flu, you're therefore not going to try, you're going to try your hardest not to fucking spread it. And people just spread the shit around and it's disgusting and people don't wash their hands after they go to the toilet. That's another gripe I have. I know everything in the toilet is dirty. When I grab a handle on the door, I'm, I'm aware, fully aware that some idiots are, who've not washed their hands have just left fucking toilet germs, who knows, maybe diarrhoea, smutches all over the door handles. You can't see it, but it's there. And basically, I try to grab the top, the very top of the door handle normally a lever handle I'll try to grab the very top hoping that no one else has got the same idea who had dirty hands so <laughs> I don't like seeing people and it's ordinary people just often don't wash their hands and it's really gross or they don't use soap or they don't wash long enough I mean seriously it's disgusting but anyway that looks really nice I think now we can call this one quits